So we had really high winds yesterday and the greenhouses withstood it pretty well, but there was one greenhouse that was just flapping all over the place. I knew there was a hole in it and I finally found it today. Let's go see if we can get it patched up. Yep, there's the hole right there. About a foot and a half across. And here's as far as my ladder goes. This is not gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to have the kids stand at the base of the ladder so it doesn't pop out on me. And I'm gonna have to reach way out there and uh, try to tape that up. Well, I just found another huge slice in greenhouse number five. This is the biggest one yet. This one went through both layers. I, this is the biggest one I've ever seen since I've had greenhouses in the last 18 years. Wow. I'm glad I can reach this one. Woo, I found another doozy of a hole. I took off the wiggle wire here so I can get to it. Look at that monster. It's like one foot. There's the blower, the inflator right there. So most of the air has been coming out right here. Who knows for how long. And I think we have another hole on this greenhouse right here. Down there at the other end. Yep, just as I suspected, there it is. It's only about a foot, foot and a half, but that's enough to let all the air pressure out of the plastic. It's too high to reach from a ladder down here, so I'm gonna to have to go up inside the greenhouse. Woo! Man, it's cold out there. My goodness. I'll give you a little update on these tomato plants. They're uh, growing pretty slow because it's been so cloudy and cold. You can see that they've grown a little bit, but not a whole lot. Oh, they're probably about uh, four to five inches tall right now. And one thing that is causing them to grow slow right now is the cold temperatures and cloudy days. Normally in sp spring and summer, these things would be twice the size by now. But if you look underneath the leaves, I don't know if you can see that, they're purple. A lot of purpling underneath the leaves. That means the plant is unable to take up phosphorus. And it's not because I'm not feeding them enough phosphorus. It's because when the temperature of the roots of a tomato plant are below 58 to 60 degrees, they can't take up phosphorus. So even though I'm heating this greenhouse to 65, 66 degrees, even at night, it's just so darn cold outside that without radiant floor heat in here, which I don't have, or some kind of hot air blowing up underneath the plants, um, they get down into the 50s on these cold, cold winter nights. So even though it's 78 degrees in here right now, I was just checking out the thermostat. I mean, it's a toasty, warm, tropical environment in here right now. But that's good for warming the plants up during the day, but it does not help any at night. They will cool down to the 50s, and it just completely delays and slows their growth down tremendously. Once the days start getting longer, um, and the nights are not so cold, they'll really take off. Over here is a planting of grape tomatoes. And as you can see, these are not planted in our typical four inch rock wool cubes that we've been using for our regular beefsteak tomatoes. We use these because we are able to compost these at the end of the growing season. You can, there's a little bit of what's inside right there. This is called coconut core. It's like ground up coconut husk. And it's also a very great medium to grow in. And I like that this little wrapping on the outside can be composted at the end of the season. So we're slowly switching over some of our operation to using these type of cubes. These will not compost. Uh, sometimes we've tried to burn some of them, but they don't really burn that well. Eventually they find their way into the dumpster and ultimately into the landfill. And I don't like that, so we're looking at other options. And these Jiffy cubes have worked pretty well so far for us. We also have an additional new planting over here, planting number two of our greenhouse beefsteak type tomatoes. And you can see they're really little. They just sprouted a few days ago. 
We've got 1,600 plants right here for greenhouse number two. And in just a few weeks, we'll be seeding greenhouse number three, and then greenhouse number four, and then the outdoor tomatoes. So things are moving right along this winter. So I'm pretty sure all of these uh, slices in the greenhouse happened during the last wind and ice storm we had. There was like a sheet of ice on the plastic and then the wind blew and the sheets would kind of blow off the plastic and actually slice it on the way down. So not a good combination, ice and wind, for sure. up here on the uh, little catwalk 18 feet up inside the greenhouse let's take a look at this uh, tear out here we have oh boy there it is it's a nice size one definitely need to tape that up it's only about four foot from the ridge vent so I'll just hang down there and tape her up we should be good to go pretty nice view up here Basically hanging out here upside down. Woo! So I always try to bring a couple small pieces of tape with me to get it started. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Man, I can I can barely reach it. <sighs> Going deeper. There we go. Not the best tape job, that's for sure. We always start from the bottom and come up, so the water will run over the tape. Definitely not the best tape job I've ever done, but uh, I think it'll hold off until spring and we can get out there and do it better. There's the finished taping of the slice in the plastic. Well, that's gonna do it today up here in the top of the greenhouse. Next week, we're gonna be uh, filling these buckets down here with fresh perlite and getting things ready to bring the tomatoes out here in a few weeks. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.